Welcome to Practice Better. In this tutorial, we will go over creating group services and setting up group availability. You can use group services to schedule appointments with multiple clients at the same time. This feature is great for conducting group sessions, workshops, and classes. First, let's create a group service by going to My Practice, My Services. We'll then click the Fast Action button in the bottom right hand corner, select Add Service, and then select group class slash service. Setting up a group session is similar to setting up a one-on-one -on -one offer. You'll need to provide a service name, duration, and fee. For this, we will name it group service with a duration of 60 minutes, which can be found right here. You can also add a description in the description field that will appear on your public booking page if you would like. For the payment option in this example, we will set this as a fixed fee of $100. We will also require clients to pay a booking from both their client portal and the public booking page. You can set the service availability for however you would like to see your clients. And for this, we will select in-person and online video chat. To note, you can run online group video sessions if you choose. To run those, you will need to link a Zoom account to practice better. Under the Group Options section, you can also specify a default enrollment limit for each session. If needed, this limit can be adjusted on a per session basis. In this example, we have set a limit of 10. If you want clients to be able to request this session on your public booking page, you can select the public option here. If you would rather schedule them yourself, you can leave it as private. For this video, we will leave it as public. Since service settings such as buffer times, notification options, payment requirements, and booking page forms work in the same way here as solo services, we will leave these as our defaults for this example. Now that the service has been finalized, we can select Save at the top. A prompt will come up for next steps, and since we want this to be available to book as a public offering, we will select Add Availability. Clients will be able to register for your service from your bookings page in the same way they request one-on-one -on -one sessions. From here, we will click the Add Slot button in the bottom right-hand corner. We will then select Group Class slash Service. Unlike one-on-one -on -one availability, you can only set up one group service per group availability slot. If you run multiple group sessions per day, you will need to set up separate availability slots for each. The length of the availability slot will match the duration of your group service. First, we will select the service that we just created, Group Service. And then, if you would like this to be a recurring group session, we, we would enable the This Time Slot Recurs option here. With that, you can set up availability to recur daily, weekly, or monthly. With the weekly option, you can also specify which days of the week you would like this to happen. We will enable this to repeat every Tuesday at 9 a.m. Once completed, we will select Save. You will then see the group availability slot you created appear here. It's important to note that when you set up group availability, you're only creating placeholder slots for your service. A placeholder is essentially a tentative or unconfirmed session. We will prevent clients from double booking you for one-on-one -on -one sessions during any times that overlap with a group session placeholder. However, you will not receive reminders for a placeholder session until a client registers or you manually confirm the session. Now that we've set up availability for this service, let's navigate to My Schedule, My Calendar to view it. We will find our placeholder, scroll up, and here it is. Clicking on a placeholder will prompt you with two options. The first is View Session Details. This will allow you to review and confirm your session details, after which you can register attendees and manage other details for your session. You can also select Delete Placeholder. This will delete the availability you've set up for the service at this specific day and time. Select View Session Details to continue. A pop-up will appear allowing you to adjust the attendance limit, buffer times, and other details of your session. As we previously set this up in the group service itself, we will leave everything as is. From here, we will select Confirm to save your session. We will now be brought to the Session Details page. From here, you can manually register clients, update or reschedule the session, 
add internal notes, and even cancel the session. You can also share this particular date session registration link with clients by selecting the share registration link option. This concludes our tutorial on creating a group service. Please check out our Help Center for more information and resources.